let's have a look at question six now. So consider a market with the demand of the following function. There are two firms in this market, A and B. Now we have the cost function of each firm given over here, 10,000 plus 40 times the quantity. Um, so the quantity in the market depends on quantity of company A and quantity of company B. And suppose that we have a Stackelberg competition, what's going to be the profit of company A? Now recall that in Stackelberg, what we have here is a dynamic game. So in other words, there's going to be a leader and a follower on the market. And let's suppose, actually in the question is said that A is going to be the leader in the market. So if A is the leader, the leader knows that there's going to be a follower that's also going to produce output. So the leader must take into account how much there's going to be the quantity of the follower. So the quantity of company B such that it can maximize its own profit, the profit of the leader. In other words, our first step to calculate now is going to be the optimal quantity of the firm B. So the optimal quantity of player B. Let's do that. For that, we need to know the profit function of player B, which is going to be the total revenue of player B minus the total cost of player B. Okay, so what's that going to be? Well, the profit of player B is equal to the price times the, sorry, price times the quantity of player B minus the total cost of company B, which is 10,000 plus 40 times the quantity of company B. 10,000 plus 40 times QB. Now, what is the price? Well, we know the price from here. We know the price from here. It's equal to 1640 minus 2Q. So let's write over here, 1640 minus 2Q. But at the same time, we know that the quantity depends on A and B. So the price is actually equal to six, uh, 1640 minus 2 multiplied with QA plus QB, because that's what the quantity is. QA plus QB. Let's open the brackets to write the <coughs> actual price. So that's equal to 1640 minus 2QA minus 2QB. And we can substitute this price into, into the profit function. So the profit function of company B, the profit function of company B is equal to 16,000, uh, sorry, 1,640 minus 2QA minus 2QB multiplied with QB. And then if we open these brackets, we have minus 10,000 minus 40 times QB. Okay, let's, let's work out the math over here. Let's multiply each term. So let's open the brackets basically. The profit of company B is going to be equal to 1,640 times QB. So we've got 1640 times QB minus 2QA times QB. So 2QA times QB minus 2QB times QB. So 2 times the quantity of player B to the power of 2 minus 10,000 minus another 40 times quantity of B. Okay, let's simplify this. So let's simplify this. We'll have the profit of player B is equal to uh, 1640 QB minus 40 QB. That's equal to 1600 quantity of player B minus 2 QA times QB minus 2 times QB to the power of 2 minus 10,000 minus 10,000. What can we see here? We can see that we have a quadratic function. We have a quadratic function between the profit of the player B and the quantity of the player B and the function has a negative coefficient meaning that we have a concave parabola. In other words, we're looking to have the maximum profit on the peak of this graph. This is the relationship the pro between the profit of firm B, quantity of firm B. So we're looking on this point on the graph. In other words, we're looking for the derivative to be equal to zero. So derivative of the profit function with respect to QB must equal to zero. So if we do that, what do we get? We'll get the following. The derivative of the profit function is going to be 1600 times QB derivative with respect to QB. That's 1600 minus 2QA times QB derivative with respect to QB. That's equal to 2 times QA minus, and here we have 2 times Q squared. It's going to be 2, which is a constant, times Q squared derivative with respect to QB is equal to QB. 10,000 derivative with respect to QB is just 0, because that's a constant derivative, which is 0. And this must equal to 0. The derivative must equal to 0. Now let's work out the math over here, because what are we looking for? We're looking for the optimal quantity of firm B. 
So for that, let's take the term with QB on the other side and see what we have. We'll have 1600 minus 2 QA. Oh, by the way, I made a small mistake. Minus 2, and here we had the derivative of QB. That's minus 2 times 2 QB. So here we should have 4 QB, not, not 2 QB. I'm sorry about that. 1600 minus 2 QA is equal to 4 times QB. Now, if we leave QB on one side, it means we'll divide both sides by 4. So let's divide both sides by 4. We'll have 1600 minus 2 QA divided by 4 equals to QB. In other words, the optimal quantity for player B, the optimal quantity for player B is equal to 400 minus 2 divided by 4 is 1 over 2 QA. So we find we found out the reaction function of player B. This is how much it is going to produce depending what player A does. So that's going to be after the leader steps in the market. And notice, what is this reaction function? We can see that we have a slope in this function, the relationship between QA and QB. That says that if player A, which is the leader, increases output by one unit, increases output by one unit, then the player B decreases its output by a half unit. So it knows that if the leader steps in the market and starts producing even more, player B, the follower, must adjust his production, must decrease it because there's less, less market share for him to serve. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we'll see how we use this reaction function to find out the profit of player A, of the leader.